It seems ages since we've done this, you know. I was just thinking this desk is a mess. <laughs> Good job you can't see it. Welcome back, I'm Ian. Time for a spring clean, me thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike. Yeah, it does actually. It's, it's like working on your knee. It's like having a massive, a massive studio and working in a three, a, a three foot, a three, yeah. a three foot space. Yes, I think it's definitely time for a quick tidy up. And a cull. Yes, possibly a cull as well. Mm. A, a throw, well, maybe not a throw out, but definite tidy up and stuff that I haven't used for a year or two. Maybe donate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To somebody less deserving. Anyway, happy New Year to you. Yes, all. happy New Year. Today's project is uh, a project I think that nobody's ever really done before, have they? One of well, these. I don't think I've seen one like no. this before. Um, it's the beginning of the year, everybody's got birthdays coming up, so I'm going to make a birthday gift card envelope, but not with paper and stuff. With resin shapes and things. For. It's a secret, don't really to know, do we? <laughs> so we know funny if everybody knows about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll switch the overhead camera. I think Benley's just gone downstairs. He's probably wants to go out, so we'll see you in a minute. Ta-da. Ta-da. So, I thought lots of people have these lovely are they banker's envelopes, they're called, Mike. Um, uh, yes, I think. Um, loop and something or other yeah. envelopes. Anyway, I'm going to use these. If you haven't got any, you can find some on Mike's website. Oh, on, I don't know if they're on mine. Well, they're not on mine. <laughs> somewhere anyway I've got a piece of card that's going to fit onto the back and onto that I'm going to use some rather lovely resin shapes that I've cast the moon all different bits and bats and some lovely little stars yeah uh, this is one of the the really nice um sets from I don't think it's not this year it's, it's last actually last year's release it's from 2021 I think um because the 2022 ones are the Oh, what we've already got. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's the um, nocturnal ele elements, I think, or something like something that. Something like anyway. that. Anyway, so, right, with more ado, I'm just going to uh, plug the hot glue gun in. Oh, dear. Da, 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 da. Shall, I, shall I go stand by with the plasters? No, 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 I didn't burn myself last time. There well, was no reason why I should burn myself this time. Well, OK. It's, it's <sighs> touch wood. wood. So, yeah. right, let's just get it plugged in and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So I've just checked. I do have these on my website. They are the Bankers Manila String Envelopes. I will put a clickable link in the description area below if you're interested in those as well. I'm going to be using those in a project next week or the week after. That big A4 journal I'm going to make. Oh, lovely. I'm going to use that on there. Those Spo on there. Spoilers. Okay, so I've got the hot gluey burny thing out. <laughs> it's actually... Uh... Standing by with a first aid kit. No, no, no. I've learnt my lesson. So, just a little bit. I'm not putting a lot on. I think last time I put too much on. Yeah, perhaps me think. Oh, yeah. There we are. So just be careful with that. Got to line that up onto the baseboard. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's correct. Lovely. Let's have a quick so, look. Yep, that's fine. Cool. You're going to turn it around the right way now. What do you mean? That's upside down. Oh, I designed it that way. I didn't know that was upside down. I see that as being the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Obviously it does. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to use this one. This is a locker, little locker scutcheon from my stash. From? It's from your stash. A bit nervous <laughs> there. It was a bit near my fingers. That. You have got errors to oh, use. Oh, I was giving me tweezers today. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and you, use the tools at hand. I believe you said, I think before when you said, if I get any strings, I just use a hot, just hot leave, air gun. Yeah, and just, it just leave them until you're done. And, and then all, you can just melt them they away. They all come off, don't they? They do. So then we want a little bit on the back of the... Did you by any chance take a photograph of your composition before? Of course I did. It's not my first real deal. It may be the first time I've not burnt myself. I like that little moth. I like that little moth too. He's going to go there. He's flying, just flying away. It's lovely. Then the tiny little butterflies going down at the bottom. Before you stick that one on, do you yes. want to just place your moon on? So oh you know yeah, just not... to make sure I'm not covering the go. place where the moon needs to go. A little bit on that. 
Wow, well, Mr. Bentley, you certainly seem to be enjoying that chewy. Mr. Bentley's found a it's chewy. Is it one of his Christmas chewies? It is. He's smacking his lips like a good un down here. Oh, yeah. Then take a picture yeah. of him. I'm going to do a little bit of a quick film and I'll just insert the video. I'll just insert the video here. There what, I'm you go. what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to put that on yet because I want to get the background painted so it's all covered. So, and I've taken a picture of my project on my phone because I always, oh that's me at Christmas, New Year's Eve. Right, so... You're not going to show them the picture? No, it's frightening, I'm in a car, I look like a killer. I meant of your composition. Oh sorry, I think <laughs> me in the car. Well you see me in the car anyway when it's, uh, when it's, um no, because it's showing the composition, it ruins it, doesn't it? Let's <laughs> have uh, so a little bit that way, I don't want to put too much on. No. I've learnt that before. Strings. Mm -hmm. There you go, I'll just jolly up your, um, your there we are. picture. One, put another one in the other corner. I'm not doing plonk plonk four corners because that doesn't work in anybody's books. But I'm just putting two up there. Mm -hmm. So got... did you explain what the baseboard was you using? Well, I did, I'm terribly sorry. No, the baseboard is a piece of mount board or it can be a piece of back of an old cereal packet or a bit of a, a, bit of a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. it's, Thousand micron, isn't it? When you say mount board, it's the sort of stuff you use when you're having a picture framed, and then they have the the different coloured mounts inside, aren't they? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sorry. Mount board. Yeah. Mount board, yeah. I don't like these strings. They're horrible. Well, you know. Oh yeah. It's nature of the beast, isn't it? I'm afraid so. Just going to do that. Let me just use this. My rings. This will get rid of them. Oh, hey. I think he's done this before. As if by magic. I know. There's a bit of one there I don't like. You're painting over it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's don't still got to worry at it. I'm not worrying at it. I'm just getting it off. <laughs> there. There we are. It'll cover when you add paint. But I'll know it's there. There we are. Better. But I'm a bit nervous about these putting these on. Right, well why don't you then? Aha. Aha. I'm not now. Thank you for lending me the uh, tweezers. Tings. There we are. And then, like I said, don't worry about the strings. Don't want the glue to show, that's all. I'm not worried about the strings, I'm going to pull them off. There we are. Oh, oh look, it's like a magic trick. <sighs> Dear Lord. Okay, and then there's the other little one. Why can't people in, 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 invent glue that doesn't have stringy bits on it? Well, strangely enough, they actually have. It's called super glue. Yeah, but it doesn't work for this kind of thing. It does. There we go. I mean, one of those inventions that are used not for the original purpose. Yes, and it was for, it was for hospitals, wasn't it? It was for me. field hospitals in war zones. It was a way to close up wounds quickly without stitches. Yes. There we go. So I've got the base sorted there. That's nice. I'm gonna turn, oh no, I have to leave it on because I need to glue that on, don't I? Yes. Or I do. could use matte medium. For what? For sticking that back onto there. Right, well, what I'll do is I'll leave the hot gluey burn thing on there. Right, so can I just ask, why aren't you sticking the moon on and then painting? Because if I stick the moon on now, mm. I'm gonna, I can't get the paint behind. And I always fret about that. Okay. So I thought, what, or do you think it's just me being silly? No, no, add your layer of paint and then glue it on. Yeah. It's fine. And then I can give it another little paint over. Yeah. To, uh, to disguise it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to so, use black gesso. Okay, there's one right in front of you. Oh, I've got the one up there. This is from our good friends at Indigo Blue. It certainly is. I love their gesso. I'll, I'll rent you a paintbrush. It's a bit big. It's fine. Okay, I'll need a smaller one as well. Sure, I can find another one to rent you. Thank you. Well, I'll get this painted over, and you don't hear me and him squabbling. <laughs> Over rent. Over renting of the paintbrushes. 
and I'll be back. Just as I finish, we'll come back to you and you can look at the... There's a smaller one for you. Oh, you see. He spoils me, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly do at that. Right then, let's fast forward and I'll just uh, crack on with this. As you can see it's all dry there now and I've even painted the face as well to go on it so I'm just going to stick this onto the back, put some glue on the back and stick it back onto there mm -hmm. and then oh yeah. and then I can paint it again so I know that it's it's stuck, stuck it stuck down and it's also painted behind because I don't want to be able to see any white anywhere, even if you turn the envelope over. Right. There we go. So you can see a few little white bits just on yeah. the edges. Yeah, so I'll just give those a quick paint over and I'll be back. So we're all painted up now, look at the mess I've made. So Mike's just instructing me to get some wet wipes and give it a good old clean. <laughs> just to clean up after yourself. Clean up after yourself, you dirty monkey, he says. Or I'll beat you with a big stick. It didn't say about beating me with a big stick. I just did. Oh, you did, didn't you? There we go. Okay, so I've now got that. Oh, I know my fingers as well, never mind. Sure, it's going to get worse, but with safety first, turn the hot glue burning thing off. And I'll just give that a quick burst over with a heat gun. So we're all painted up and ready for the technique. I've not done this technique before and it's amazing. <laughs> so introduce the products then. Okay, so. so we're going to be using, this is brand new, Indigo Blue Gilding Gum. Yes. When you open it, don't open it on its side, <laughs> as I did earlier, because... It's like, it's like a white paste. Yes. There we go. Okay, so... It smells nice. Yes. It's it's very glossy. Yeah. So when it dries, it will dry with a gloss. It's almost like a paste gloss varnish. Right. Um, the reason we call it gum is because it is quite. What's the word? I want to say vicious, but I mean viscous. Viscous. viscous yes. Yes. Right. So, so what do I do, Mike? It's, it's just it's a little bit thinner, if you like, than toothpaste. Right, okay, so. All right, so what you need is you need the spatula, which is just there to your right, that's Exhibit it. Exhibit A. So if you spoon out, or spatula out, quite a, a, a full spatula, and then onto your work surface. A bit more, is that enough? That will do for now. Okay, are we, are we in shot there? Yes, we are. Yeah, okay. I'll just move it in a little bit so you can see. All right, so then wipe off Wipe off your spatula. Do I need to put the? Do I need any no, more? No, that'll do for now. So I'll put the top back on. That'll do for now. Let's say I'm slightly accident prone. Okay. Even more so than me. Oh dear, I've got it on the lid on the packet. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't worry it. Okay. All right. So choose your colour. So. So if you lift up the pot, so the, the 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 tub that's got all the colours in. Okay. Right. So these are. Luscious pigment powders from Indigo Blue. Oh, these are nice. Aren't so they? these are coloured mica pigment powders. So Just the powder, no binder or anything. Right. Well, there is binder in it. Yeah. All right, but it's dry. Right. Okay. So this is pigment Look with those. mica. So it's all going to be metallic and shiny. Ooh. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix some of that in with the gilding gum. Yeah. And it will turn it into a gilding paste. So, which colour do you recommend, please? Well, you're doing you're, it's your composition. Yes, but but you're doing browns and you're doing. Um, so I would go for either like the copper. Yeah. Or the verdigris, which has got hints of, of green and brown in there. I'll go for a cut. Shall I go for a verdigris as a first coat? Yeah. Okay. So that's a nice that's okay. a nice colour. Okay. So. So. There we are. Yeah. So this is the verdigris one. Nice so, label, Mike. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Mike does the labels for these. Yes. Ooh. Now just gently, just tap it down. 
Just there you go. Oh, I'm flipping heck! <laughs> it's because I keep them upside down. I thought there was a. Um... So I keep them upside down so that I can see the colours. I thought there was a mesh on top. I was going to try and pick it up. No, no, no. Right. So you need to spoon out. That proves how thick they are. Uh, about half the spatula. That's it. All right. And then just dump it on top of the gum. Okay. The, the, and then just work it in. Turn it into a nice thick paste. That's it. Work all the powder in. Now, it looks white, but when it dries, it goes clear. Ah. I'm not sure whether I like this colour now, I've done it. <laughs> and you can't tell it looks purple. It does, but that's only because of the white. Yeah. But don't forget this is a verdigris colour, so there are multiple colours in it. Yes. There's browns, there's greens, there's a hint of. Yes. Right, get it all mixed up. I'm doing my best here. You, you can squish it down. Oh, can you? Yeah, there you go. Oh, like you do oil paints? Yeah, do exactly ah, the same thing. Just squish it, squish it and squish it. There's another fast spatula there if you want to. Just scrape, um, scrape it off this. Got a lot of glue stuck to it. I'll just use this. That too. Yeah. Don't know how that's happened. <laughs> it's dirty. So, just move that in there. Oh, it does. It absorbs very quickly. Yeah. The other thing with this is, it dries very quick. Ah. Once it's on. Right. But while it's in that clump there on your mat, yeah, I'm it right. stay like that for ages and ages and ages. Right. So, how do I put it on, mate? The brush. Do I paint it on like a normal yes. paint? Yes. Yes. So just it's, it's quite quite a um, quite a harsh brush. It's, it's almost yeah, it is. But you need that to get into the, all the nooks and crannies, don't you? Oh, I see. Now, Ooh. can you see the colour change already? Oh, heck, yes, I can. Oh, so that's you can see the browns and you can see the greens in there already. <laughs> Flipping heck, and you just paint it all over. Yep. So the actual gilding gum itself, you buy. From indigo blue yeah um, I, I can't sell it because I don't have the um, the, the wherewithal to, to ship it um, because of the, the the nature of the liquid yes of course they, they can they can ship it internationally yeah they've got the license um, haven't they, yeah. yeah but all the luscious powders obviously it's plain gum and then you can mix any of the luscious powders. So, if you had, so if you had any of the luscious powders, there's, there's loads in there, about 30 or 40. It's the same gum for all the other colours. There's about 60 colours. Wow. Um, I've only got, I'd say, probably about 25 of the colours. I've just got my favourite colours. Gosh, this is, this is absolutely amazing. Isn't it beautiful? That is very strange. And the beautiful thing is, see how shiny it is now? Yeah. That's exactly how it dries. Also, it doesn't knock back or anything. No, not at all. I'm just doing this and then I'll paint the sides. And do you know what the difference is between this and gilding wax? It doesn't smell like shoe polish. It doesn't smell like shoe polish. No, the other thing is that when it's dry... It's permanent. It's totally permanent. Because, of course, gilding wax, it reacts. It will still react with heat. Yes. This won't. Ah, because it's when, it, when the bind when it dries, it goes like a dry varnish. Ah. And it'll stay shiny. Shiny, shiny. Sha -la, -la, la I like this. And then I'll just, I'll just get this built up. Is that a fee first layer? Yeah. Uh, got, yeah. Right, well, I'll join you in a minute when I've finished oohing and ahhing over everything. So I need to paint the sides and the back and mm -hmm. everything. Background rather, not the back. This is a. Look at the detail coming out. Yeah. It's almost like magic. Shite magic. Like I've always said, powered by elves and pixie dust. Yep. Yeah. Not wrong, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just going to paint the edges. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. Just, just hold that up and just tilt it. Look at that. You can see the greens, the golds, the browns in there. You didn't think you wouldn't think that comes out of that crappy colour. Well, not crappy not colour. <laughs> not crappy colour, but it just looks brown there, doesn't it, it? It looks dull. You saw that and you think, I'm not buying that. Look at that. <laughs> it's 
It's beautiful. I heard you, ladies and gentlemen, get yourself some of this. It's amazing. <laughs> so, we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing now onto the moon. Yes, and the stars. And the stars. So, you just want to get... Right, might be worthwhile, actually. Yeah. Just taking the powder out first. Oh, dear. Right, so, take the powder out first. So, I'm going to use that not one. Yellow. Not, not yellow. Not yellow. We're using gold. Gold, aren't we? Yeah. yeah you want so, to use gold. Hello, puppet. Dog's come to say hello. Belly's come. There we go. Pop hello, there. Dally. Okay. So a little bit less, so just about that. You're, well, you're not using a lot, are you? No, so it's just, like just that little bit again. there. Yeah. And then an equal amount. Just all you do is wipe the blade off. And make sure you put the tops back on. Yeah, and don't it's, sneeze. And it's very fly away. And don't sneeze. And don't sneeze. So, sorry. I'm just going to say, before you get your hand in the way. Gold. Gold. Yeah. Okay. So how much of this? About equal amounts again. So about that much. Well, have a look at what you've put on your mat. There you go. Oh, just put that there, then. Yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, I'll add a little bit more. Just a tad more. There you go. So and then top on. Yep. Yeah, and then mix it up again. The dog wants to play, I think. He does. I'm just moving my chair out of the way. So you'll you'll hear running backwards and forwards in a second. He gets really restless on an afternoon if we don't play with him. It's like having a child. It's not that, he just starts nudging you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Pushes his nose into your, into, your, into your sides and your legs and your knees and it's very disconcerting when you're trying to concentrate. It's very, very smooth this, isn't it? Very smooth when yeah, you get it you, mixed if you up. mix it, so you can have, squish, so, squish it together. So you can have, you can have, you can have any colour gilding wax you want or gilding... Finish. Finish, yeah. yeah. Because it is shiny. Can you use it on furniture? Yes. And stuff like that? Yes. So deco home decor items. I even think it's washable. We'd have to check. I, I'm sure it is, actually. You, you could actually put it through a stencil onto a t-shirt and I think it will wash. Wow. Right, so that's that. Let's get it all together a little bit. It's going to go off the edge of the blooming mat here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. now, remember when you dry brush in, yeah, you have to keep your brush flat. So it has to go that way, doesn't it? Yeah. So, so if I'm doing, oh, I don't, I don't do it. Right. So, come why don't I just paint all that? Right. Mike, Mike's hands now. In Mike's hands. Right. Yes. So let's just take a little bit on the brush and star. Do the star. Do the moon because I don't do the. No, moon. I'll do the, do the side here. I don't want to do the side. I don't want to do the stars. Right. So flat. Hang on. Get it into the shot. There we are. You want the edges. Uh, yeah. So keep it flat. So we have to do it, it has to be, so on to the edges I just do that Mike. Is that right, just down there? Yeah, as long as you keep the brush flat, yeah. you'll be okay. And not put too much on. And I've still managed to get my elbow in it. Oh have you? Yeah. That's clever. So that picks up. Yep, you can see the gold there, look. Yep, I get it now. So just a tiny bit. Flat. So I want to pick out the highlights. Yes. Yeah. Just like you were doing with your dry brush. So you just you just hit in the the raised surface areas. Like that. Yeah. The little ones are going to be quite difficult to do. Does that? You can always use a smaller brush if you want. Nah, no, be alright. Oops. It's on there. It's just really to give it a little bit of a pop, isn't yeah, it? Just watch where you brush. Is you've yeah. got this nasty habit of curling the brush around and pointing it at yourself. Yeah, you end up going all over your t shirt. Okay, so then that bit that's it flat. That's it. Yeah. And just like that. Yeah, you probably made up far more than you actually need, but. Are you going to do the butterflies? As well? Not the butterfly, the butterfly and the moth. Yeah, so that's right. going to be very... very flat. There we go. I'll do. One. And so completely flat again, like that. That's it. I'll just finish off the stars. Now the temptation is to angle the brush, but you're supposed to be keeping it flat. I know, but 
I'll get it down the sides. So well, this is now waterproof, isn't it, as well? Yep. Just don't get it into the paint itself. Right. So, I want to do the moon, but I'm really nervous about this. Right. So that's dry on that bit already. Okay, so. Right. Don't load the brush up. Okay. Right. So flat. Flat. And then just take it across. Gonna get it all in your wrist. I'm not. You're not keeping the brush flat. Right. You're angling it. Would you show me on there because it's a larger area? Right. So I'm picking up. Yeah. Yeah. Flat. See the brush is flat. Oh yeah. So. I don't know whether you want it. Covering. I do. I do. I, just want, I do want it covering, but right. We'll just paint it then. Just lightly. I don't want it to be a solid gold. I oh, just want it to just be a little bit. There you go. That's it. That's my, my focal point, isn't it? It's dried. Yeah. Dry so I told quickly. Told you to dry quickly. There you go. Oh, it looks nice. Doesn't that look lovely? It does. On the screen in front of us, it doesn't look brilliant. I'm just going to put a little bit more on the top. So just, just to give it a bit more of a... Well, if you really wanted to, you could mix up a small amount of the copper and just add a little bit of a copper sheen on top if you wanted, but... There we go. And I think, do you think something to pick this out lightly, or do you think it'd be put too much out picked out? What, you mean the same colour? No, a different colour. Mm. I think I should use the same colour. I, just I would very, use the same colour. Just but very lightly. And again, keep the brush flat. So all you're doing is just hitting those highlights. That's it. The more you angle it, the more it'll go in. Yes. So the flatter you keep it, the more chance you've got of not going in. No. <laughs> Breathe. Just ah, so it just picks out the tops. Yes. I know we've had this discussion hundreds of times, but you don't listen. <laughs> I do my best, and I just right. The other thing is, is look where the lines are. Yeah, right. You can see the lines are going from left to right. Yes. There. So you want to be going in the opposite direction. Otherwise, you'll be dragging it into, into the, the crevices. The, yes, of course. So I want to be going down. Yeah. You're angling your brush again. Think. A little bit there, maybe. Mm -hmm. It looks like old metal, doesn't it? it does. Really, I want to highlight that in there. But if I put my brush in, it's going to right. If you go in just gently, or use a smaller, a smaller brush. Here. Oh no, gently's done. Gently's worked. Just lightly, just go on the top. Yeah. That looks so good. Very subtle. We'll put a little bit more on those big stars. We are. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's clean up and then we'll mount it onto the uh, yeah the envelope. Clean up, let it dry. Believe it or not, that's probably dry already. Yeah, it dries so quickly. It does. I like that. So there you are. It's dry. It literally, as Mike said, it dries. It just Straight dries away. Within, within a minute or two. But look at the shine. It's all the colours that come out from it. Mm. And don't make the mistake I did, don't use a lot of that or the gold. Literally I've thrown loads away. Yeah, I've not thrown that much away. I've thrown I'll tell you what, away. one of those pots, I think I've had this pot for about two years now, this one. And I've only used probably about what? Quarter? Oh god, less than that. Yeah, exactly. But just also be careful, keep this the right way up because it is running. <laughs> I'll put the top back on. So, so we've got our beautiful panel. That panel could go in a frame. It could. But I'm going to put it onto the envelope. 
I've already. I think it probably would sit nicely in a, in a 6x4 frame, wouldn't it? Do we have a 6x4? Um, I don't know whether I've got. Um, I've got a. Oh, shame. Yeah, that's. That's a lovely it's a one. It's a bit smaller, well. actually. Yeah, it's a bit smaller, that one. Oh, I don't think I've got another one to yeah. hand. But not to worry. Yeah, anyway, this is going on the back of this envelope. So I can just get the scalpel, which is downstairs. So yeah, there, was one, there was one on there. That's one I've just put a new blade in downstairs. I've got a pokey tool, mate, um, so I can get the back of <laughs> it. says. Can you use scissors? No. You can, no. can you use the edge of the scissors, look. No, because I don't want to pull the back in off, off. That's pulling the back in off. Not, it's pulling the back in off right. the board. Why don't you just use the corner? There we go. Okay, so just peel that off. Got our envelope there. Just position on top. Mind the head. Mind my head. And you've got. Finished product. Turn it over so they can see the envelope on the back. There you go. Okay. Put a gift in there for someone, a card or something like that. Mm. Cool. There we go. Excellent. Enjoyed that. So did I. Nice little composition. Thank you. So I hope you've enjoyed watching Ian create that little panel for the envelope. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed yes. to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget to check out your exclusive angel only content over on my website thank you